So I've given five frank uh, facts. I want to close the message with this illustration that stuck to my heart some years ago. A man named Roland Hill, you may know of him, he was a great preacher in yesteryear in England and around that part of the world. And on, on one day, the observer said he was preaching in a great outdoor meeting. He was outside and he was preaching in this meeting. And along toward the end of the sermon, the people who saw it said that a royal coach pulled up drawn by these horses. And it had a large, beautiful crest of royalty on the side of it. And everyone knew to whom that coach belonged. It was Lady Erskine. She was a part of the royal court, Lady Erskine. Now they could not, the people said, they could not see the woman in there because the coach was, you couldn't see back in it. But they knew it was her. It was her coach. They could tell by the way the drivers were behaving that, that she was in the coach. And the coach pulled up as close as it could get to this platform outdoors. Well, they said Roland Hill, preaching away, uh, acknowledged that that coach was there. You could tell he saw it. He was now at the end of his message. And what he did, he said this. He said, all of us today, all of us, there is a great war. There is a great auction. There is a great bid for our souls, for our souls. He said, no one is in exemption of that. Even Lady Erskine, there is a bid for her soul. And then they said, Roland Hill tilted out off the edge of the platform, turned his ear toward the sod as if he were hearing something deep down in the earth. And he said, and the crowd got quiet. He said, what is that? What'd you say? He said, ladies and gentlemen, there's a bid for this woman's soul. Well, what is the bid, he said? Oh, fortune, fame, notoriety, money, opportunity. Oh, shame, unforgiveness, and hell, hell, hell forever. Oh, he said, who, who makes a bid like that? And he listened. It's the devil. Satan himself has made that bid for this dear woman's soul. Oh, he said, is there another bid? Surely there is another bid for our souls and this woman's soul. And then, as if he heard something in the sky, he tilted and lifted up on his toes toward heaven. He said, there's another bid. Yes, there's another bid. Another bid for this woman's soul. Say, what is that bid? Happiness, joy, peace, forgiveness, abundant life, heaven forever with God and Jesus. Oh, sir, could I ask, who is it that makes such a bid? And then he jumped to his feet and said, it's the Lord. It's the Lord Jesus who has made the bid for this woman's soul. And then they said, he leaped off the edge of the platform and went to the side of the coach. He patted on the side of the coach. Lady Erskine, he said into the coach, Lady Erskine, the bid is for yourself. So there is one from Satan in hell and there's one from above, the Lord Jesus. To whom will you give your soul? And the spectators said that the door of the coach flung open and that woman fell out on the ground on her knees and said, Dear Jesus, dear God, I give my soul to you. Amen. To you. Amen. Now, beloved, nothing has changed. Amen. That's right. There's a bid on today, and there's a war on for the soul. For souls out there, your friends and neighbors, your sons and daughters, your co-workers. And God has chosen in his providence to put you in a place to use you you are, in effect, like Roland Hill was, the middleman between heaven and hell and that soul. Amen. That's where you're going tomorrow when you go to work. Make no mistake about it. How do you see this? What are you making out of it? Are you just fumbling your way to a job to get money to go home to pay bills? You're on a divine assignment. See it like it is. You're in the middle. God has you there for a reason. You're the one. He wants to use you. But listen to this. You're not out there. It's not Monday. It's Sunday. You're in here. 
Now I'm asking you, what are you going to do in here about your soul? What are you going to do in here today? See, you don't know if you're going to go till tomorrow. What will you do? There's a bid for your soul. There's a call from hell, and there's a call from heaven. What are you going to do? Amen. What are you going to do? I want to urge you. I'm pleading with you. I'm begging you. Give it up to the Lord Jesus. Amen. You'll never be sorry. Right. You'll never be ashamed. And I want to tell you the moment you die and step into the presence of the Lord Jesus, you'll leap for a thousand years Amen. with joy because you made the right decision now and today. You say, well, uh, these are strange people. I'm not used to being here. I, I'm not a member here. I wasn't, that, that didn't have a thing to do with it. It doesn't have one thing. This is God's altar. They just have to build a Baptist church around it. Amen. You are welcome to come and do business with the Lord today. Is that true, church? Yeah. They're welcome. Amen. Well, let's stand now. Bow your head, will you please? Close your eyes. You say, well, I'm saved. Thank God I'm saved. But let me ask you this. Is your life counting for Christ today? Is your life counting for the Lord Jesus? Some of you are saved. If you died, you go straight to heaven. You know it.